Welcome back to my channel. Please don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification bell, like, comment, and share. Thank you. Hi YouTube, this is Betty and welcome back to my channel. I am here to share a project with you guys. I am guest designing for Erica who is Scrap Diva 29. And also this is an announcement for a new series that I'm doing with Markeisha who is Sweet Papery Treasures. This is the uh, Ginger Red Fever series. Uh, this series was started um, some time back and we decided to kick it off again. And um, before I share my project, um, just to go over real quickly with you, Erica Dyes. She is Scrap Diva 29 on YouTube. The name of her store is ScrapDivaDesigns.com. Um, she has some awesome, awesome dyes. And thank you so much, Erica, for inviting me to guest design again uh, for your um, store. I really appreciate it. And um, just to let you know a little bit about the series, Gingerbread Fever, Marquise and I will be creating projects using gingerbread. Uh, this is a series just to make sure that we are using our gingerbread stash. We'll be coming on every Monday for the month of April at 6 p.m. Central Standard Time, sharing our projects and or our die cuts that we put together of gingerbread. So I know there are a lot of gingerbread lovers out there. I am one of them and I have a plethora of gingerbread things. And so I wanna make sure for 2022 that I pull those gingerbread products out and use them. So that's the whole purpose of the series. So um, I also have a coupon code. So if you are inspired today by my project and you wanna pick up some of um, Erica's dyes, I have a coupon code. I will leave it here on the screen. Um, just use that coupon code to get some savings for your order, okay? All right, so let's get started. This is the paper that I uh, selected to play with. This is called Darling Dearest, and it's by um, the Paper Studio. Beautiful paper. Now, this is usually um, for a baby, but of course, you know, we as crafters, we use things as we see fit, and that's exactly what I did in this case. And I played with some of Erica's great dyes. I played with the um, Scrap Diva Designs Easter and Spring Words um, set. Uh, let me see. if Here's the one right here that I used, right here. And then um, I pulled out the Scrap Diva Designs Loaded Banner. I like to label my dies to make it easier for me to know what I'm doing. <laughs> so this is the top part of the uh, box, these dies. And then on this side, this is the bottom part of the box. That just helps me stay a little bit more organized of what I'm doing to put this particular die set together. Here are all the layering pieces right here together. And then the banner and the accessories. I have some accessories here that I didn't use and I wanna go over those with you because I didn't use them in my project. So this is the piece right here that uh, goes on your banner box and to hang it up. Um, I didn't create mine as a banner. I just created mine as a normal box, okay? Just a box. But you do have that option to do that. And you have this as well as this. And so some of them are rounded. Some of them are just straight across or square. You have a heart on some of them and then some of them just the um, circle. So you have a lot, a lot or the whole. So you have a whole lot of options. Comes with this balloon right here, and then it comes with two strings. I use one of them, but this is one of them I didn't use. So you have two options. And then it also comes with a happy birthday sentiment that has the shadow piece with it, which is awesome. So you, it comes with this. So you can see this die set comes with a lot. And it also comes with this balloon in the shape of a star. I use the banner, of course. Um, I use everything else. I use this cute little bow comes with it, this um, balloon. Here's the other option for the balloon string. And then I showed the layer pieces. Okay, I use that too. All right, so let me share with you my project. Here is my cute little loaded box, you guys. And of course, I had to do the shaker. <laughs> 
So here's the shaker. You can see um, the dies that I use, of course, which is the loaded banner. And like I was saying, you can put the little um, hanging piece here on the back and use it as a banner, but I just wanted to use mine as a box. Here is the Eastern Spring Word set here. And then this is also a part of uh, Scrap Diva Designs dies. And then here is the feature of my cute little gingerbread dressed up as a cute little bunny. So I think the uh, cute ginger turned out really, really cute. And I really, really love this die. So if you haven't picked it up, go ahead and just use my coupon code for some savings and go ahead and pick it up because you can use this for any, any occasion. And so that's what makes this particular die really, really awesome. You can use it, at, you know, have this box feature for other projects if you like. I absolutely love it. Or my banner piece, I use mat board. Um, so it's very, very sturdy. I also use the 110 pound um, cardstock. So it is super, super sturdy. So let me... Um, share with you all around what it looks like you can see the pretty papers i used i love the colors of this paper collection and then i just use my circle punch so that i can easily open up and you can see inside you guys it is a great size to really really be able to load it down with some goodies this is so fun and so cute i love how it turned out so I hope you guys join us for Gingerbread Fever. Make sure you guys run over and check out Markeisha to see what she has created. And don't forget to check out Erica. I will have the link to her store and the links to the products I use today so you can quickly go to those items and purchase. And until next time, make sure you always create with love and passion. Bye.